Hello YouTube family! Long time no see. I do apologize, I've been away for a while. Uh, we're supposed to do at least two updates a week, and it's actually been over a week since I've uh, done an update, but we're back. I apologize for being away. Um, I will do better about being more consistent. I just had a lot of things going on, work, home. Excuses, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I hate excuses, and here I am giving one. But uh, let's get into kind of where where we've been at since we last spoke. I want to start off by thanking uh, Kristen and Gary. Uh, they were the latest ones uh, to use my Robinhood referral link. Um, I ended up getting two shares of Zynga. Um, it's been actually doing pretty well since I got that. It's been about a week ago I got those. Uh, maybe just shy of a week. But those, uh, they're actually, well, same company. So uh, that company is up since I got that. They had a good decent earnings report uh, so that one's been doing pretty well uh, but thank you to Kristen and Gary appreciate using my referral link um, we'll have that link posted in the description below um, also uh, since the last time we spoke um, I did sign up to be an affiliate partner with Amazon so I am on a 180 day probationary period have to have uh, so many people use my link and whatnot within 180 days to be considered a full affiliate or however it works. There's is kind of weird. Um, I won't be adding anymore. Um, I only did that one because uh, I felt like I was missing out. Uh, everyone's using Amazon right now. Uh, I talked in one of the last videos. Um, I did get approved to be a Target affiliate partner, which that's funny because with Target, you have to fill out an application. They have to review it. They look at your content. Or, Supposedly, they look at your content that you list that you're going to uh, put your link on. Um, and it, they, they make it like it's this big deal that you're going to be one of their affiliate partners. And Amazon, it's like, I, I basically threw my name down. And they're like, oh, okay, well, here, you know, use this site. And here, you know, this will be your, your, your page name and whatever. And, you know, if you can get three people to use it in 180 days, great, you're on board. So, I mean, for as big a deal as they kind of tout themselves to be and they're a huge company so i mean they, they're doing something right um it just didn't seem like it took a lot to get approved but um getting into the point of these which is our uh how we're doing on our investments uh, i think the last time we spoke i was at about 135 dollars in the portfolio uh that's where we talked about how i had the stock disappear uh, which what happened there was uh, they had a reverse stock split. It dropped and dropped and dropped. So in an attempt to uh, stay on the NASDAQ, uh, they did a reverse stock split. Uh, they did a 1 for 30 split, which means if you own 30 shares, you now own one share. But instead of those shares being worth like 12 cents, they're now worth you know $3.30. So your initial investment in them doesn't change any, just the amount of shares you have change. So your, your money doesn't really change. Uh, but for me, uh, using Robinhood, Robinhood does not have fractional shares. Uh, so I did not have 30 shares of that company. Um, I just got paid back. The bad thing is I got an email from Robinhood explaining that they did a reverse stock split, that in the next two to three weeks I would get yeah, uh, reimbursed for that stock, uh, the, whatever the, the value was. Uh, I hadn't heard anything since. And then I woke up, I think, Tuesday morning, and I just mysteriously had like $3 and some change in my account that wasn't there the night before. Um, I'm assuming that's from that stock split because that's about what it would be worth. But I never did actually get a confirmation in any way from Robinhood that that's what that $3 and 30-ish cents was. But it's the only thing it could have been. Um, so after that, that Friday, as I said, it looked like we were taking a big loss. Um, there was a, a, that glitch, which had to, everything had to do with that reverse stock split, where it looked like I lost forty dollars in one day. I really didn't lose forty dollars that day, or fifty bucks, or whatever it showed. Um, it was actually just that they took away temporarily those fifteen shares that I had of that company, and instead of saying that my value dropped by, you know, fifteen times 12 cents it said it dropped at the value they were currently at which was like three dollars and 15 cents so that's where it looked like i lost 50 bucks and didn't actually lose 50 bucks so that was a, a, a plus um ended up uh we kind of had a little bit of a gain at the end of that day 
Uh, last week was a very good week. Um, by Friday, we ended up being up pretty well. Uh, this week has been down. Um, overall, I'm at, as you can see right now, I'm at about $140. $44 and some change. So I am up. Uh, where we ended at last week, I had a goal this week um, where, where we ended at $145. I wanted to end this week at $150, basically just gain a dollar a day. And I was going to do that through, obviously, growth on my long-term investments. And then also um, with some of my swing and day trades that I, I do on penny stocks, which I'm a huge fan of Jake Jones. If you don't know Jake Jones, check out his channel. Um, a lot of these, uh, investing channels, they tell you invest in this stock, invest in that stock. And they're basically trying to pad their own portfolio, um, trying to increase their value and that kind of, that kind of stuff. So they, they have a, uh, financial purpose for plugging certain stocks. Uh, Jake doesn't do that. I mean, he'll, he's a real straight shooter on that kind of stuff. So I really, you know, I really like his content. But he is he, one thing he talks a lot about is not investing in penny stocks. Stay as far away from those as you can. And I've yet to learn my lesson on that uh, because what will happen is I will do very well, like I did last week, uh, where I'm up. And then I'll get into a, a position this week where I have three stocks that um, I put more than I should have because I like to keep just a certain small amount to use for the for the day in swing trades and I ended up um, I was looking at another long-term uh, dividend stock but I was I don't know maybe a dollar short of being able to purchase that stock so instead of just hanging on to that that money for a couple days or just sticking with those you know using what I was supposed to have allocated for the day in swing trades and hoping that I made that buck there no I basically threw all that money in. Um, I had a kind of a gut feeling that there was a stock that was going to jump. Uh, so I bought at a very low point on this one stock, bought in a lot more than I should have. Um, it did spike like I thought it was going to, but I got greedy. I thought I could get another two or three cents out of it and it just fell off the table overnight. So, um, it was like an instant drop. So, uh, actually waiting for that one to at least get up to where I break even. I, I'm very confident that that one will get to a break even point. I had two others I didn't put quite as much into, but I had bought them at low points. One of them I had bought when it was a little bit higher. Um, it's probably about 15 cents higher. I had like one or two shares, um, and it, it had a dip. And so I thought I could go in and buy, you know, maybe another five shares and ended up, you know, really make it out on that stock and I still haven't seen any news on the stock why but it's it just that's another one that just really dropped off the table for me and, and killed me um, I'm down on that position keep in mind we're, we're looking at small amounts that we're trading in and out of these are penny stocks so I'm down a dollar on that one but that's basically what I was paying per share so I'm basically down an entire share of, of that stock so that one is like slowly starting to inch up. So it's not bad. It's just that with those day and swing trades, I don't want to hang on to them uh, that long because I want to look at other things to get in and out of to try to uh, make a few cents here and there. Um, and when I have that money tied up that long and something I know isn't going anywhere, it just kind of sucks because it's not, it's not going to grow. It's more than likely going to die. Um, and then I had another one that was kind of a little bit riskier. Um, it was going up and I bought it at kind of a midpoint on its way up. And then right at the end of the day, trading day, uh, yesterday, it it dropped pretty significantly and it hasn't gone back up. That one I, I won't end up being out too much on, but I've had it down a couple of weeks. Other than, you know, last week was pretty good. And I, you know, anything I'm going to make off of those other couple, if I can make anything or break even, I'm going to lose a few on, on that one more than likely, unless it does shoot back up again. Um, so I, I appreciate, uh, everybody tuning in, bearing with me to those dozen or so, uh, viewers that I keep getting on these videos. Thank you. Thank you for your loyalty. 
Um, again, I'll post my Robinhood link in the description. If you're looking at signing up with Robinhood, you want to keep uh, an eye on our journey, how we're doing. Um, please subscribe. Uh, give us a like. Give us a dislike. You know, any any. Uh, that way, I know if I'm doing okay or not. Again, any suggestions, anything you'd like to hear me talk about. A lot of times, I don't I don't talk about my specific stocks that I own. Um, not because I'm ashamed of them by any means, but I don't want to sway anybody either way on something. Um, if it's like a specific thing that I need to talk about, you know, I'll I'll, I'll mention that stock. Um, but if you'd like to hear more about my stocks, I mean, more of my last update videos uh, or my last challenge videos, I did list in the description all the stocks that I own and how many shares. Um, that might be something that you can kind of look, I can get into in another video on how I decided to choose those stocks. So that's, you know, something. I am still working on a, a shorter uh, video just dedicated to uh, my dividend stocks and uh, kind of my strategy on the dividend stocks. Um, that one should be rolling out here uh, probably next couple days or so. Uh, that one will be quite a bit shorter. But uh, again, uh, we're, we're up today. We're at $144, so we're a little bit behind on our goal. Our goal was to hit $150 by the end of the week. So after uh, sometime after closing tomorrow before Monday or on Monday morning, I'll get another video out. Uh, be episode 6. This is 5. Uh, to kind of let you know if we ended up hitting that goal by the end of the week. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, I think. Uh, especially with those, those three uh, penny stocks that I got some money tied up to in that uh, kind of went to garbage on us um but thank you uh one thing i'd like to get some input on if you can i had a suggestion given to me that uh i don't use a lot of props in my video you know i you know i'll show you my screenshots actually this is a live feed right now how we're doing um just to give you kind of updates but um i don't use a lot of props in, or anything like that in my videos. The reason is I want you to be able to listen to my videos anytime. Um, I'm not necessarily putting things that you have to see. I want it to be something you can throw when you're getting ready for work. You can put my video on and just listen, uh, get the information and that I'm conveying the information okay. Uh, I don't want to do a lot of things that you actually have to watch more listening. So it was suggested that I move to more of a, like a podcast type format. So I would have to invest a little bit into something because I don't think uh, using uh, a cell phone video is going to get quite the impact we need for uh, you know a podcast type thing. But hey, if you like that idea, uh, let me know in the comments. Give me a like. Yeah, I appreciate the feedback. Um, until then, everyone have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Thank you.